guys, it's Marcy again. Um, whew, sorry, I had a little bit of technical difficulties. My stand is not working so well anymore. Um, so I, <laughs> here's the way things are these days. We need to um, be a little bit more flexible and stuff. I had something great. I was going to do our chicken marsala because um, my friend Caroline loves it. So I was going to make that my demo today. And then I went to the grocery and they were out of fresh chicken. So um, I ended up uh, getting some beef. And so I'm going to make beef stroganoff instead. Um, I've already started a little. It's just been one of those crazy days. I think it's going to be the norm for everyone for a while. Um, oh, all of you guys know Josh had this great job with the MLB in New York. And well, you guys sort of know what's happening with the MLB. So um, rather than be stuck in his bedroom that I literally, I mean, most of you who know me know I'm like 5'2". I could put my hands out and touch both walls in his room. Rather than be stuck there by himself with everything closed, a little while with it um hmm, this is very interesting i'm seeing some things up here that i don't normally see um well uh so anyway um, we're gonna make some uh beef stroganoff tonight because he's coming in tonight luckily plane tickets were really cheap so let me show you what i've already done here we go i've already uh grilled some onions um, just put them in with a little bit of olive oil. Let's hope that stays. Now I'm going to put in the ground beef since there was no ground chicken. I don't usually use the ground beef, but I'm going to today. So I'm going to break this up, let it cook. Um, and I also want to say, I know I've talked about it, but my amazing company is doing half off all of our cooking products through the end of March. And really, I'd love for you guys to um, to get some stuff and I'll give you recipes and things. If even half off is too much, talk to me. I'd be happy to help you out, figure something out. Um, Um, but everyone I brought it to who knows about it so far is really excited with what they've gotten. And even though it was supposed to be four meals, it's really going to be more like several meals for people. Um, because they do such a nice job with it. Okay, now this is really hot and going, so it's not going to take so long to cook it. You honestly don't even have to cook the beef all the way. And like I said, normally if the grocery was not out of ground chicken, I would certainly be doing that. Um, but you got to make do with what you got. So, and that's another thing. I, I love our products. We have three chefs who come up with all of our products. And um, so they've already done all of the stuff. So you're going to see how easily, easy this mushroom marsala is. Now there's one other thing I add to it that you don't have to, but it's great oh okay um some of this devil's devil's den red from blumenhoff winery oh my gosh blumenhoff has the best wines i'm gonna pour a little bit oh i should have shown you that pour a little of that over there okay and let it cook up in that um uh oh here were the technical difficulties i was talking about kept falling over um 
but uh, especially like I know people in Pennsylvania, all your liquor stores are closed. Um, Blumenhof is a family owned winery near me, nicest people in the world. If you get a chance, order some from them. It's Blumenhof, B-L-U-M-E-N-H-O-F. Um, but we really need to support small businesses like that. I mentioned White Box Catering. Um, you know, give yourself a spa day while you're stuck at home. If you have some uh, girls stuck at home with you, by all means do that. My friend Amy Gill, I'm going to post the links to these people in the comments here. My friend Amy Gill with Arbonne, oh my gosh. Okay, now I don't want to do this, but um, <laughs> I've always had huge bags under my eyes, like you could pack a bag in them. So um, Amy gave me something and they are disappearing. Unfortunately, they've been extended for so long that now there's wrinkles there. But um, she's giving me something else for that too. Okay, so you can see our ground beef is cooking like crazy. We're gonna boil some of that wine into the, into the beef. Let it absorb some of that. It makes the beef a little bit more tender. Um, and then you can see how very complicated this is. I'm going to add Um, a little bit of what I told you before, Everyday Blend, one of my favorite things. Um, and also, if you're in St. Louis and you need a meal one night, um, I am making these meals to show people what to do. But honestly, I'm not going to eat all these. So if somebody needs a meal one night, let me know. I'd love to bring it by. Especially because with all the meals from White Box that I just brought by, um, a lot of my family members are set. Okay. So while that's boiling down a little, I will serve it over noodles. You can do rice, whatever. I'm gonna give you a quick, easy, fun dessert you can do that is, um, everybody can sort of make their own so you don't have to um, dip in with everybody else. I'm gonna turn this down so you guys can see it there. And there it goes now. Okay. You might not be turning it down. Okay, let's see. Let's try one more thing here. Okay, not turning it down because that makes it fall. And now it's just falling, period. Okay, uh, hey, by the way, I am not gifted at this in this department. <laughs> okay, so here, this is one of the best things I've ever gotten from people now at my company. They told me about this, Philadelphia no-bake cheesecake filling. I'm guessing the stores are still gonna have that. So take a couple of big scoops of that. I'll hold it up since I can't put this down. And I put them in my little cups um, from Pampered Chef. If you, here, see, like this. If you, um, if you have, you know, four or five different people. Hold on, need another spoon. Um, you can do four or five different uh, different things with it. What I'm going to use today in it is our raspberry balsamic glaze. Ooh, one of my favorites. And also have... And then cherry habanero, which is also great. People go nuts when I do this. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a couple of... couple of maybe like two... Oops, that's a little bit more. Two tablespoons of the uh, cherry habanero sauce. Mix it up. And there you have a cherry habanero cheesecake dip for dessert. And it's individual size or people can share it. Just no double dipping. And what you put in there, how fun is this? You can use Teddy Grahams or there's mini Nella wafers now that I don't know if you've uh, ever seen those or not. And okay. Now the other one, I'm going to use the balsamic, the raspberry balsamic, which is fabulous. This is one of the things that I think my daughter and I could drink. Okay, whoops, didn't show you there. Again, just a couple tablespoons. This one's a little more liquidy, so. And there you go with that. So now you've got like two sort of different desserts, pretty much the same though. Let's check on our beef. And it looks much better now. And we're going to take the mushroom marsala sauce. Sit down almost out. 
And if you look at this, I'll show you in the next bottle. If you look in it, it's got um, real mushrooms and it's got real carrots in it. You'll see when I pour some in here. Okay, and our, our um, product is really great and it goes a long way. So you don't need that much of it. And how long is this? I did brown the onions ahead, but other than that, look, dinner's done, except for whatever you want to put over it. If you get Uncle Ben's 90-second noodle, uh, not noodles, sorry, 90-second rice, um, you'll have that part done in 90 seconds. And let me show you what it is now. Punting that. Okay, see, there you can, oh, it probably just steamed up. You can see some of the pieces of uh, carrot in it, and there's mushrooms around. So that will be when Josh is back in town for dinner. If anybody has a great job for him while he's waiting for baseball season to start, let me know, because he is not going to be happy when he gets home. Um, let me see if I told you about everything. Oh, one other thing I totally forgot that I wanted to tell you is... Um, not all of the recipes I've been doing are online, but if you need some recipes for any of our products, or if you have something at home you can substitute, go to www.tce, as in the Cocoa Exchange, tcerecipes.com, and they will give you all kinds of recipes that you can switch up. So thanks for watching.